Hi, I'm Chris Partha. Welcome to East Oregon and Highland Hills Ranch, where the best of British, presented by myself and Dale Tate, of a 1,200 bird driven pheasant shoot, which is probably the first time that pheasants have been presented in the USA in a traditional European manner. These are the great wing shooting destinations of the world, steeped in tradition, offering the pinnacle of shotgun sport. Tour the planet with us. There are few types of hunting more steeped in tradition than European style driven pheasant shooting. This unique sport dates back centuries to a time when proper attire was as essential as a good shotgun. But you don't need to travel all the way to the Scottish Highlands today to experience this exhilarating form of wing shooting adventure. The Highland Hills Ranch near Condon, Oregon recently held its inaugural Best of the British Driven Pheasant Shoot. It was an event that Chris Batha wouldn't have missed for the world. I came out to Highland Hills to do a, a TV show last year and uh, when I saw these high bluffs and canyons I um, instantly thought what a fantastic experience it would be to um, dry pheasant off them in the traditional English or European manner. I suggested it to Dennis McNabb and uh, he asked me how to do it and we discussed it and uh, we put the package together. I asked Dale Tate to come along to make it um, a success. We needed more people than I could coach on my own. It's a mixture, it's like Scotland and Yorkshire, it's just fantastic. There's so much typography here, you know, with the ground cover, the orchards, the rocks, everything, it's, it's first class. Before the hunters headed to the field, Chris and Dale Tate conducted a wing shooting clinic. I mean, you're all experienced shots and um, aren't going to insult your intelligence, but first and foremost, there's some things that happen with driven birds that um, doesn't happen with walked up birds. They're going to come off these cliffs trying to get away from the dogs and the beaters. They're going to fly and then they're going to set their wings and look for cover and glide down. And um, fortunately, we're going to be putting them over you about 40 yards. Later, the class shot clay targets thrown from a high ridge to simulate the high flying birds. As the bird comes off pull, you see it, move to it and through it. And it's just a simple little movement. If you watch my finger rather than the gun, pull. You know, the actual movement down here is very marginal. You don't need a lot of gun movement. I want you to slow down half again. All right. But you need to become your own instructor, so if you know where you're missing, you can put yourself right. Your head was down, but you still saw the bird over yeah. the bow. You ready, sir? Sorry, we digressed. Well, I'm not ready, but I'm here. <laughs> Play it in slow motion what you actually saw and felt. Then you can get yourself out of that pit. Stop digging, because you'll only get in deeper. Come on, Doctor. It's rushing, ruins rhythm. You've got to learn to shoot. At the, the target speed will dictate the speed you move at. If it's a real fast bird, you'll make a fast move. You've only got one and three quarter seconds to kill a bird in full flight, because the brain will get bored. One and three quarter seconds is a lifetime. Now you're just behind it. And remember, it's a 30 inch circle. It's not a 30 or 6 rifle. It's a 30 inch circle of lead going forward like an open trumpet. Your eye is right in the back of this shot stick. Good shot. Well done. Have a rest. Good. Perfect. Taught him everything he knows. Well, actually, I think he's been listening. We gave some tuition and uh, it was well received. People took it on board and uh, it was quite satisfying to see the improvement from the morning to the, the late afternoon when we finished the clays. Traditional English shooting suit. A um, little unusual for the American uh, hunter, but they all serve a purpose. The plus fours hang over your socks so if you should get wet, it'll drip off rather than run down into your boots. Uh, the socks facilitate putting boots on or the rubber wellingtons. The tweed is like a natural camouflage and is a bentol fabric, so as it gets wet, it gets wind and waterproof. The collar and tie, which looks a little overdressed, secures your neck so there's no ingress of water and acts like a scarf keeping your neck warm. The um, 
Jackets and uh, trousers, as I say, are a natural camouflage when you're against the green and the background of rocks. Um, it blends in quite well. Obviously, a traditional hat, keep your head warm, and um, I'm ready to go. Anxious hunters fidget as they await the draw of the pegs to begin the best of the British driven pheasant shoot when wing shooting the world with Chris Batha returns. Wing shooting driven pheasant is the order of the day here at the Highland Hills Ranch in the foothills of central Oregon. Lodge owner Dennis McNabb organized this traditional European style event at the urging of Chris Batha, who's always on the lookout for a new high bird challenge. Chris Batha came out last year and filmed a couple shows and uh, he thought this would be an ideal place to have a driven shoot. I tell you now, I, I can't wait to get out there. I wish I was shooting myself. I'm not here to enjoy myself, but it's going to be spectacular. It really is. What we're going to do is we're going to choose pegs, random lottery system. Remember your number, and then each drive we'll move up two. By moving up two, we will ensure that we spread the shooting through the guns. And so we will start with the uh, most senior gentleman, and you have first pick. Elder statements is correct. Just, How many well, sir? Just one, sir. <laughs> Just one. Yeah. You go with that one. There's no need to follow a bird to the ground. Shoot them in the air, blue sky, or in this case, cloudy sky around them, and, and you're safe. You can't do any damage, and uh, have fun. Just be safe. This is a, a pheasant shoot in a true European manner. We're on pegs 25 yards apart, and here at Highland Hills Ranch, which is just a couple of hours east of Oregon in the high desert, uh, we've got some wonderful canyons and bluffs. The pheasant's going to be driven through the cover crops and come off these high bluffs, presenting some of the most exciting high driven and passing shots that you could wish for. I'm really excited about this and I hope you're going to enjoy it as much as I am. really well. I mean, these birds are 40 yards up, 120 feet up, you know, and they're just crunching them. <laughs> the pheasants everywhere. You could be in Scotland. These big high cliff faces and the rolling hills. Majestic high pheasant coming off. Thank you. Uh, thank you. And now I've been joined by Dennis McNabb, who is the uh, owner operator of Island Hills Ranch and has put on this magnificent pheasant shoot. And he's going to demonstrate what years in the field have achieved. Lead it. Lead. More. <laughs> hey, hey. Wiped your eye again, sir. Have a good shoot it. There I was. A valley in Oregon. Four and a half thousand miles from home, in the company of a Scotsman. What the hell was I doing? Lee, 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 Lee. <laughs> Lee, give it three fillets. Yes, right off the end of his barrel. Unload, gentlemen, please. Here. Shot well, I tell you, shot some great food. Right here. True to proper Scottish tradition, there was a break after the first shoot for scones, cider, and other treats. Shooters relived the first beat around a campfire. After the first drive, it's very traditional in England, Scotland, um, to have what's called a bull shot. A bull shot is a, a game consomme soup and you usually cool it down so we can drink it and get on to the next drive. But a little dry sherry, just a touch, referred to as a swing lubricator. Double! The next setting, another high ridge with more than 300 challenging birds to shoot. When Wing Shooting the World with Chris Batha returns.
The next setting was under the high ridge used for clay targets during training. Oh, this is the second drive of the day. Uh, we're on this escarpment in this beautiful valley you can see down here. Pheasants are being brought out of a cover crop and going to come off this rock face and they're going to fly across to that little uh, valley over there and uh, they're going to be pretty spectacular. The uh, cloud cover is breaking up and some blue skies coming through and a big cock rooster uh, against this uh, this sky is going to be pretty spectacular, so I hope that I'm in the uh, king seat, as they call it, and I'm going to get plenty of shooting this time. I'm going to claim that, even if I didn't hit it. <laughs> Brilliant! I know you got that one. Look at that. Michael! Yeah! Ole! Oh, God. boys too well yesterday. <laughs> They'd never shot a driven bird before. We had them on clays all day. The drives themselves were magnificent, as good as anything I've seen in Europe. And uh, quite honestly, the, the, the birds presented were as testing as I've ever shot. Great bags. It, they were, the numbers were fine. Uh, they put all their heart and soul into it. It was fantastic, it really was. No, it certainly doesn't, I can tell you that. There's some shots those guys are making on the end. Check her! Look out for a little bird! Yes, you beat him to it. Hold well on. Oh, oh, lots of lane. Uh, I've seen some excellent shooting, I've seen some birds taken that I thought were out of range of a shotgun. Overall I think that the day in the clays really did help and um, get the group of guns um, to expect, you know, what they would expect when a driven day was underway. The thing I liked about it was a complete package. You know, first of all, I had not shot and driven birds before um, and, and uh, you, know, okay, you know, I actually didn't know how well I would do. And, the, the, the fact that we could go ahead and have one day of instruction with some very, very good people really gave me a lot of uh, good insight on what to expect the next day. It went fabulous. Uh, I think uh, the birds were just high flying and they came off the cliffs uh, just as we predicted. Uh, the beaters uh, did a great job and uh, we had a great shoot. Uh, one of my clients here is his first time. He's down 51 birds to his to his total. Absolutely fantastic. I can't wait till the next drive. What can I tell you? Absolutely fantastic. This is as good as it gets. I've shot all over the world, shot throughout Europe on driven birds, and this is as good as you're going to find anywhere in the world. That drive was absolutely superb. And the shooting, I think they benefited from the practice at Clay's yesterday. They acquitted themselves well. Proud of them all. I just can't say what a great time I'm having. What are you doing next week? Next week, it's easy. I'm not here for four extra. We went on and had a wonderful lunch. The hunt concluded on a beat with birds flying over a creek bed near the Highland Hills Ranch Cherry Orchard. After a great lunch, 
Dennis McNabb, not only has he put on some fine replica of driven pheasant in Scotland, he's organised the weather as well. Here it is, January in Oregon, up in the high desert region, and uh, we've got snow, and uh, this is going to make it really interesting. Sometimes you have to suffer for your sport. And uh, today we got snow, ice, freezing cold, and uh, we're working hard. birds are really tested. They're like 40, 50 yard shots and when you connect with one it's like scoring a home run. Uh, there was a little bit of uh, camaraderie in the fact that we poached each other's birds. See, what they're doing is they're shooting them straight at him over there like a rifle. And that was done with, you know, true friendship. There was no, you know, you gave as, you know, as much as you uh, Took. You know, there was no, no holds barred, and, and that added to a great deal of fun. Picture book. We've been practicing all day yesterday on the clues. And uh, it's paid off there, shooting really well. And uh, pegs are slightly closer together on this drive. And if you aren't quick, they're just taking the bird off the end of your barrel. I mean, they're shooting well. So, uh, in some ways I'm pleased because they took the lessons on board. And another way, I feel a little bit <laughs> out of it. I'm getting outshot by my own students. I mean, absolutely exhilarating, and uh, you know, it's just really, really the best, some of the best shooting I've ever experienced anywhere. Birds are coming high, off the tr tops of these hills. We had a couple of inches of fall, and that was just fantastic to see those melanistic pheasants launching off the cliff faces against that white background. This is fast and furious. I mean, the action, pheasants, breaking cover from every direction. I mean, <laughs> it's got so cold, I've lost all the feelings in my trigger finger. But uh, everybody else seems to be fine. <laughs> A great afternoon, just finishing up, end of the last drive, going home for a well-earned cocktail. Yeah, being a good Scottish boy, uh, I thought it'd be fun, and this place being Highland Hills Ranch, I thought it'd be fun not only to have a driven shoot, but uh, to have a piper in. So we had a, a local uh, gentleman that's a piper, did a fabulous job, he piped down the haggis.
We all had to sample haggis, no matter what we thought of it previously, but uh, it was delicious. Hey, happy Burns Night. The piper piped in the haggis, and uh, you know, I liked the pipes, and uh, it was Burns Night. Best haggis I've had. <laughs> And we, we toasted the, uh, the poet and uh, the wee canny beastie of the island more and uh, everybody thoroughly enjoyed the, uh, the piper, he was excellent. I can't say enough about Highland Hills Ranch, basically the staff, uh, the accommodations, the quality of food, uh, the guides, the dog work, um, the, you know, the, the terrain, um, everything is first class and, and the birds here, the variety, the great variety of different upland bird species is a, a unique experience in itself. Everything has worked, everything has worked, it's been quality from the moment we arrived. I'm not sure I could describe a way that you could improve it, I mean it's, it, it, it's uh, been a tremendous trip for me, um, a trip of once in a lifetime which I plan to do every year after this, I would not miss this for the world. Uh, and the fact that we can do this in the U.S. and not have to go to Europe to do it is such a plus. We started inviting guests about five years ago. Uh, what we found very quickly is that uh, we had many, many people that shared the passion that I do of bird hunting. But what they became as friends once they became, came here, which was really nice. People come in as guests and leave as friends, so that's a very nice uh, tribute to this brand.